Yeah, you always hear uh, of your Vietnam veteran military transition stories uh, from the men who served. I don't I don't think I've ever heard a woman's perspective on that time. So it's interesting. It wasn't easy for us either. Yeah. I was either going to get a job or go back to the University of Minnesota to further my degree. And so I went on campus first. I thought, well, I'll go back to school. I've got the GI Bill, right? Mm -hmm. So I spent a week on the University of Minnesota campus, which was is where I had done my academic work for nursing. And it was so horrible. This was 196, August 1969. Well, it was fall when I started. And the anti-war protests and the mean-spirited things that were being said to Vietnam veterans and about them was so horrible, I couldn't stand it. I thought, I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to be part of this. I'm not listening to this. Uh, it was just too painful, too hurt. I had just seen how these men had suffered and died by the hundreds, and now people were denigrating them. And I always said them because it was them. It was the men. I never said us until a reporter who was interviewing me back in the day said, well, you're always talking about them. Weren't, aren't you a vet? Why didn't you say us? You were part of this. And I said, but I never thought of it that way. I went to Vietnam to take care of the men. I, and I came home and I thought of the men and how they had suffered and died and how they were still in Vietnam being shot at. And the country was treating them like they were at fault for the war. Yeah. And we were just serving our country, putting on the uniform like we were asked to do. It was a very confusing, complicated time, Tanner. I, it's hard for me to explain it to you, but I, I couldn't be on that campus. So then I got a job at the civilian hospital. It was a trauma hospital. I thought, well, I should be happy there, and I was miserable. And then went to Madigan Army Hospital and felt like I was home. 